How you doing? I'm Eric with Talladega Fiberglass. Today we're going to be putting a set of plastic bowl cut double hooks on a uh, Kenworth. We've got the 380 suspension. It also works with the Peak Flex Air. So you need the same suspension. First of all, we're going to have the driver drop the air. We're going to put these spacers on your tires. Give you a little distance when you're air down in between the fenders and your tires. Come up to the front here. We're going to put the first front hanger on. We've already taken the bolt, we've already taken the nuts loose. You just want to set them in there right now. You don't have to put any nuts on them. Do the same to the middle. These plates. Depending on how your suspension is, how your offset is with your alignment, plates can go either way. That little distance right there will help you out, just so you don't have to push your pull to your fender. We'll go to the back side. You find your bolt closest to where your fender is going to be. We removed those already. Three marks the hole and drill them out. For right now, you just want to put these on temporary just so they're not falling off on you. drill this and mark it. What you'll do, you take your plate, you'll set it up on the center, mark your holes, drill them out. Again, this is a temporary bolt situation. Set it up, just give it a little snug, let that move. I get Tony here to help me put the fender on. With this Kenworth suspension and the Peterbilt flex air, your tires, your tires when you air up roll forward slightly. So you want to go a little bit farther forward than center when you put these feathers on. You want to center them in and out. If you want to come out over here, you can see if I, sometimes you have to notch these out. Let me pull this back for you. You can get right in here. Where it's going to hit the suspension, you just make a mark and you just can trim it out. You won't have to do that on both sides. Both suspensions are offset to the passenger and driver side. So get ready to check where you're going to be marking your fenders, where you're going to notch your fenders out for your breath. I've already been underneath. I've already been marked it, but you want to come on over here, take a look. You'll go to the most bottom point of your hanging bracket and you'll transfer that mark, your pipe's an inch and a half, so give yourself two inches so you have a little space on the top and bottom of your pipe. You just wanna mark it with a grease pencil on your fender. You can pull this off real quick and I can show you what I've already done. Here. You're going to put your bar, and it's going to 
mount on the back side of your plate. But before you do that, you will be notching out your fender. Uh, I use a one by two piece of wood. It's a lot lighter than a, a piece of metal, 28 inches long, so it's the exact size of that. Size of that. And uh, after you get that notched out, you will put your stick through there and make sure it's flush with this. Sometimes, like I said, you can turn it over if you need a little bit of space and you can run it on this side. On the back here, I've already knocked down. And you basically do the same thing with that after you notch it out. You take a pipe, lay it inside, and see how close you are. You can go over here and see a finished one. And this is what I mean by inside of the fender. It'll go flush on the inside, centered in your notch that you would need. We've already finished the front bracket. We'll have to do a little separate, uh, probably a uh, a little short video after this. It gets into a little bit more detail, a little bit more difficult with these uh, with this middle suspension. But the rear and the fronts are pretty straightforward. Uh, sometimes you're going to be straight on like this, but you could possibly one over. It doesn't have to be straight on. Sometimes it's one over this way, one over the other side, whichever is going to fit your frame and to your, uh, your fenders the best. 